Unfortunately, this is not music to my ears. I turns out I bought the wrong paper. This is that thin material that I was hoping to avoid. The only upside is the color. I like that it's green. Um, you know, more natural versus the pink, the pink of the other batch. But yeah, I'm gonna have to make lemonade out of lemons in this one. Um, so this is the current state of the table. This is soil prepped for the tomatoes that need to go in this week. This is some paper pots for the pepper seedlings that need to be up potted now. So I have room to put, or figure out the room to put <laughs> these around. Yesterday I was able to seed some stuff that some stuff that I'm keeping and some stuff I'm selling. So I have lemon balm, black sesame seed, cumin, and kohlrabi. And this this is all the marigolds in here. Oh, and there's a basil. One kind of basil in there. Very moist. Very damp in there. Alright. So yeah, the peppers, peppers need out. They're not doing anything in here. First up on the transplanting block are the sweet banana. They're looking a little fried. Gotta get them out of here. Ah! They're okay. No panicking. Nice roots. Our season here in New York is not long enough to top peppers, so that is not a practice I recommend. Not that these peppers are ready to be topped, even if, even if uh, I could. Current count on the peppers is 15 sweet banana, 17 bell, a lot of those are questionable, um, 16 shishito, 13 ancho, and 19 jalapeno. I had this one seedling here that is a mystery that came in the pepper packet. Oh, I wish I, I can look at, forget which package it came from, but. I'm curious to see what it turns into. So yeah, I'm gonna let that grow and, and see. Next up is the tomatoes. Woohoo! I'm back in the basement. Uh, I took a break after the peppers. Went outside actually for a couple of hours, got some some work done. I had to bury a chicken. Um Cleaned up a couple of beds, put put down some amendments. So yeah, I'm very tired right now. Um, but while I was outside, I realized that I have to up pot my thyme and my spearmint that I planted the first time around. They're still really tiny. It takes a long time. For a spearmint to come up. 
but that will help free up some spaces so that I can plant something else. Um, and then the last thing for the day are the tomatoes, and I'll go over that later. So that's what I'm going to do. These two are the spinach that I just sowed recently. And they're up and very tiny. But yeah, so a few of the time need to be up potted. Mm, this is a little on the dry side. Not ideal. All right, so just to recap for my own sanity, this week I've sowed so far cumin, lemon balm, kohlrabi, black sesame. Did I already sow? No, I haven't sowed those. Okay. Basil, marigold, and then tomatoes are last. Now the tomatoes that I've decided on for the sale are the Tiny Tim, the Glacier, which is a bush tomato, um, the Honey Drop, and the Sun Gold. I think I have enough seeds. So that's, I don't even know. And then the Paste Tomato, which is the Zan Marsano and the Opelka. I usually do one of each because they have a pretty similar habit. Um, I did really well with the San Marzano last year. They got really big. Both are prone to blossom of end rot, which, if I can remember, next year I'm going to get some seeds that are hybrid that are better for that. And tomatillo. Not too many, but some people like tomatillo, so I'll get that. Now, so that's for the seedling sale. While I'm here, I have saved um, striped German heirloom, um, heirloom tomato from a couple of years ago. So I'll see, I'll see if that's still viable. So just um, a seed or two of those. And then for the beefsteaks, all right, sent the kids back to bed. And for the pole, or very tall indeterminate tomatoes. I'm going to be providing beefsteak, brandy wine, Paul Robeson, black creme, and did I decide? I can't remember now. Dang it. Dr. White cheese, which is yellow, Cherokee purple. Okay, yeah. And, and Cherokee purple. Those were for the sale. Now for myself, in this category, I have pineapple tomato, which I saved seeds from, and then black from Tula, as well as hillbilly, which are free seeds I got from You Grow Row. I also have a Rutgers, and last is the Aunt Ruby's German Green. So I'll, I expect to have at least one of each of the ones I'm saving for myself. Um, tend not to sell out of most, you know, most of the tomatoes get left, something gets left behind. So hopefully, I don't know, I always end up with, with extra tomatoes, but some stuff do sell out. So I'm not sure how many of the other seeds I would sow for my personal use. We shall see. All right, so I've got here is, I'm gonna multi-sow 
So I've got eight, 16. So I'm gonna distribute accordingly. So this should go a lot faster than the rest of the stuff I had to do today. <laughs> well, I accidentally deleted the end of this video, so I don't really remember what I had gotten to, but the seeds are now under cover. It's 70-ish degrees right now. This I only have one heat mat, so I'm rotating when the other It's um what? It's only this is the second day, so nothing's popping up yet. I don't expect anything till third day. So I keep the I keep the lights off because I don't need it. Everything else, oop, I don't know what we're up to. But I put some stuff outside. The these are the peppers. I'll bring you outside. I think we're on our third day but no action on the lemon balm cumin or black sesame but we do have a little bit of green right there on the genovese basil so that's the basil coming up all right the kohlrabi is up so i put that outside so i don't have to worry about keeping it plus it's a cool cooler weather crop so it should be outside anyway we shouldn't have any more or we should have limited cold snaps this is the marshmallow I sowed a while back, so they're coming up too. I'm doing great. My propagated rosemary. Oh, okay. So what we came here for are the marigold. The marigold were up in two days. The seeds. Um, this is the snapdragon. No need for it to be indoors because it's okay with cold weather. Also, another thing that's okay with cold is spearmint. So I put that outside too. Plus it's drizzly today and it needs watering. So I put that out. We're looking good on everything. The leeks are looking really good. The onions are uh, getting there. Everything looks really nice. I need to remember not to sow these as early as I did the parsley and the cilantro really and even the dill really get big very quickly so i can slow down the the pacing of sowing those everything else is looking good the collards the oregano the cabbages are doing beautiful um yeah we get a pot these two this is pak choy some of them are a little spindly there i don't know why it's been outside all this time um, the kale is coming in slow and steady. Swiss chard had minimal um, germination. I don't have enough time to put any more in for the seedling sale, so I'll just do it what I have there. I have for my own personal needs already. So these, another week before I put these up probably. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. So well, harvest more. Bye.